President Park Geun-hye will embark on a nine-day trip to China, Myanmar and Australia on Sunday to take part in three major multilateral gatherings, namely the APEC, ASEAN Plus 3 and G20 summits. Throughout her tour, President Park is expected to try and drum up support for her economic and security initiatives. Uh, Choi Sun reports. President Park Geun-hye will open her trip on Monday at the 2014 APEC Leaders Summit in Beijing at the Forum's Business Advisory Council. There, the Korean president will introduce her administration's efforts to spur domestic growth and expand the job market through social reforms, deregulation and supporting creative industries, often dubbed the three-year economic innovation plan. At the Leaders Summit, President Buck will discuss a new growth engine for the global economic recovery and ways to better integrate member economies. She's also scheduled for bilateral talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping, where much attention will be focused on the progress of FTA negotiations. President Buck will then travel to Myanmar for the ASEAN Plus 3 Summit and the East Asia Summit. Here, she will urge for greater regional cooperation to counter the Ebola outbreak and the threats posed by Islamic State militants in the Middle East. The Korean president will also have a chance to promote her North Korea-related policies and to boost ties with the ASEAN. For the final leg of her trip, President Buck will travel to Brisbane, Australia for this year's G20 summit, where she will again speak about her economic innovation plan as an initiative to address the global problems of low growth and high unemployment. The Korean president will also meet the Saudi crown prince to seek out more opportunities for Korean firms to invest in the Arab country's infrastructure construction. Promoting her administration's economic and security policies to world leaders, President Bak hopes to highlight Korea's contributions to global security and prosperity, thereby further cementing its status as a major middle power. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News.